Report story. Tilda Mina Pav Tilda. I woke up this morning with a smile on my face. Tour is gonna arrive today which means we can start focusing on our plan. I quickly sat up with excitement and immediately got dragged back down. I turned to my right and smiled as I saw Kiri hugging me in his sleep. So cute. I stayed in bed for a couple of minutes after hearing Kiri say stuff. Of like, Mina. Mina, I I, love you, in his sleep. I slightly shook him awake and said with a smile, I love you Kiri but can you let go of me, honey. He woke up with blush and let go of me saying, sorry. I got out of bed, and started getting ready for the day saying, don't worry about it. Now it's time to matchmake. I watched as Kiri got up as well and he smiled at me kissing me on the cheek, I love you, Mina. I know, I said with a grin and walked out of the room, getting ready to see Toru and her husband Masharao. Tilda time skip Tilda, Tilda Ochako Pav Tilda, why 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 why? Tilda Mina Pav Tilda, Mina, Toru, we both ran up to each other or more like ran into each other. Why didn't you stop? Toru said with a chuckle. I thought you were going to. I giggled. Anyways, I began telling her all about my plan and she happily agreed to it. I can't wait to get them together. Me too. At this time both of our husbands walked away and chatting with each other, and walked towards the night's training ground. I quickly called my maid and told her to call the head maid, Uraraka so that we could talk. We need to get her and Sir Midoriya together. They would be so cute together. I heard a sad voice speak out from behind me, Your Majesty you called. I turned and was surprised to see Uraraka was the owner of that voice. Her eyes were red, puffy, and she looked straight with a blank stare. Uraraka, I said and ran up to her holding her hands, what happened? She looked up at me and smiled, I'm fine. Even though she said, I'm fine, she still had a blank stare and her face returned back to an expressionless state. What happened? Toru ran up to us and said in a worried tone, Uraraka you at not fine. What happened? I, she paused and stayed silent starting at the ground. Here, maybe you just need a distraction. Toru and I led her out to where Kirishima and Masharao were, now breath girl. Uraraka took a deep breath and sighed as she looked away from the training ground. That's weird. For the past couple of weeks, she would come here and watch the knights train every time she had a break. Suddenly Toru smiled and whispered to me, I know what will make her happy. She then turned and shouted, Sir Midoriya, as she waved for him to come over. I smiled back, this is a great plan. Kill two birds with one stone. I turned and saw Uraraka with a worried look on her face. Sir Midoriya walked over to us slowly and smiled nervously, yes your majesties. He bowed down and looked up meeting Uraraka's eyes. Promoted stories, you'll also like, never stop fighting MCSM Jestra fanfiction. 18K343. After the Witherstorm and Sky City problem, Jesse quickly find themselves in a new adventure, and it was a tough one. Jesse and Petra had gotten closer, and eventually T. One last shot, a Mineta Redemption fanfic. 10.1k168. This is a Mineta Redemption fanfic, if you hate Mineta, I advise you to not read this. Mineta had just done one of his biggest schemes, and the girls had enough. Aizawa T. Ochako needs help. 27k591. All the girls in the 1a class have decided enough is enough. They are going to help Ochako confess to her crush, one way or another. Murder Drone Stories Incorrect Quotes 20.7k274 Little random stories kinda like one shot so well this became only shots and incorrect quotes. Very slow updates. I don't write fanfics much anymore. Ishk Ki Kahani 4.7m257k in quad 
Stop trying to act like my fiancé because I don't give a damn about you. And quad, his words echoed through the room breaking my remaining hopes, Alizé, the badass. The Lion Guard, Age of the Dinosaurs number 1, 4.3k69, Scar has returned while the Lion Guard start facing some creatures they make an adventure in their lands while making a rescue attempt when Kiera was captured by those CR. Secrets, 14.6k 1.1k, Manic and Nandini two strangers meet on a trip, they instantly hate each other, the intensity of the hate is such that one can burn the other by a look and the other one. Why does he look worried as well? Toru chuckled, we were wondering if you could help us cheer up Uraraka. She seems a bit down today. Sir Midoriya responded once again with a nervous smile, forgive me, your highness, I don't think I'm the best one to help out Miss Uraraka. Well, I, suddenly Uraraka cut me off, I don't need help, especially not from someone who only thinks of himself, she spat back. Her eyes weren't lifeless, they weren't angry either, there were just blank. Question mark question mark question mark. What happened to the sweet Uraraka that everyone knows and loves? All of us stood there in shock as Uraraka's voice became harsher. She stepped closer to him and he backed away. Uraraka then looks at him straight in the eyes saying, I'm not some maiden in need of defending okay. I can live fine by myself. I don't need a stupid title to define my life. Then she furiously walked past him and into the castle. Dot dot dot. What just happened? Toru and I looked at each other trying to assess the situation. It seems like the shouting attracted the attention of all the knights and our husbands, who ran over to us. Tilda Ochako Pav Tilda, I'm not some maiden in need of defending okay. I can live fine by myself. I don't need a stupid title to define my life. I shouted. He 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 reference, I had to okay, it was a perfect line for the situation. I scoffed and walked past him not even caring that I just cut off the queen in the middle of her talking, or the fact that I sort of insulted this whole hierarchy pyramid that existed. Ugh, why, why did this have to happen? Suddenly I bumped into a little girl who was dressed in rags. Owie, she said, oh sorry, nice job Ochako. Bad enough that you shouted at your lover but now you ran into a little girl. I offered her a hand and I pulled her up, my name Uraraka Ochako. What's yours? She dusted her dress, off and smiled at me, my name's Ari but, she paused and looked sad, why are you angry? What do you mean? You look angry, why? Oh, I know what will cheer you up, she said as she grabbed me from my sleeve. I gladly followed her after all, what was the worst that could happen? Insult the queen, shout at your lover, nah I'm sure nothing could make this day any worse. Ari lead me towards the gardens and I heard beautiful music coming from the courtyard, we headed towards the music and I soon saw Jiro playing on guitar while singing. Ari and I stood there hearing her play and after a few minutes I spoke up, Jiro, I said and smiled. She suddenly stopped playing and flushed red, how long were you there? I chuckled, she's always so shy to show her musical talent. I, I paused and glanced at Ari who nodded at me. I guess I just need a bit of cheering up, that's all. Please don't ask why, please don't ask why, Jiro simply nodded and called out, Kaminari, wait you're not gonna ask why. I said in confusion, I don't think someone needs a reason to cheer someone up, hero. Sue, I smiled as she hugged me Kaminari came running in a trip on something, leading to him dropping all the small bean bags that he had. Jiro helped him up and soon after Yaoyorozu, Todoroki, and Tokiami all showed up it seems that they all meet here early in the morning to just chat with one another. This is nice, I thought, and giggled. It's nice to see you smile, she said giving me a reassuring hug. I hugged her back as a tear fell down, thanks Yaoyorozu.
Eri sat down next to where I sat and smiled at me, yay. You smiled, and then she hugged me, yeah. Yeah I did, what if Izu and I had a child like this together? I have to talk to him again, at least one more time. Tilda Midoriya Pav Tilda, I stood there in utter shock as I saw sweet loving Uraraka shout at me and walked past me in rage. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Hiroshima walked up to us asking, what happened? I don't know, Kiri what do I do? Everyone was talking over with each other about the sudden outburst that just occurred but I ignored all of it. This is all my fault. I just wanted the best for her. What was your fault? Huh? Turned and saw the queens and kings starting at me, explain please. She said worriedly, dang it. Did I say that out loud? I sighed and looked up. Yes, your majesty, but please don't try to enforce the law after and may we speak somewhere else. The queen looked at me confused and nodded, of course. Just tell me what happened with Uraraka, she said as we all walked away and into another room. I hesitantly told them everything about the secret relationship that we had. Wait, 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 had. Yes, your majesty, we broke up. Why? You two are perfect for each other. Your Majesty, the law, it states a lady of high status cannot marry a man of a lower status. Well that law only applies to normal citizens of the kingdom. She shot back and immediately seemed to realize what she said. Normal citizens of the kingdom. Does that mean Ochako isn't from this kingdom? Frantically Queen Hagakuri jumped in the conversion and continued, I mean that law is old. Who cares about it anymore? With all due respect, what do you mean, applies to normal citizens of the kingdom? I asked. Both queens stared at each other with a look of worry while everyone else seemed confused. Mina, what is this about? Kiri well, the queen sighed and continued, I guess there is no point in hiding it anymore. After all, the ball is coming up in four days and we can't leave Uraraka like this. Everyone stared at her, urging her to continue and explain. She simply sipped her sweet tea that the maid brought in a while ago and sighed to continue. As you all now know there is a ball coming up and the royal family from the Kingdom of Night, or as the formal name, Kingdom of Night, is coming over. What does this have to do with Uraraka? I said forget about the titles and customs for a bit. Well. It's supposed to be the day that the heir of the Kingdom of Night is revealed to the public and brought back home after many years of being hidden away. And we'll the heir's name is. The queen paused and grabbed the King Kirishima's hand. The future moon of the Kingdom of Night, Uraraka Ochako. My lover is a princess. I kissed a princess. I, I made a princess cry. Sir Midoriya. I looked up and saw King staring at me, do you know what this means? Quote dot 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 quote dot. Her Majesty rose up and looked at me straight in the eyes, Her Highness Uraraka is not held by any of the outdated laws in my kingdom, she started to smile and giggle a little, my ship is safe. You can be together. She is building a ship, what does that have to do with anything? No, I said, I can't be with her, especially not with this new development. I'm sorry your majesty but I can't do this too. Her Highness Uraraka, what would her kingdom say about their princess marrying a poor knight? I think they would be glad to have her back and happy. Have you seen her today? She looks lifeless. I agree with my wife Sir Midoriya. His majesty looked at me, her highness wants you. Imagine what she would feel like, going back to her kingdom with people she doesn't know. Especially what would her people think if the only joy that keeps them happy is that their princess is safe, only to see her return unhappy. I, I would love to be with her. But I can't. Not after what I did to her I, I. Suddenly both of the queens smiled brightly at me. Don't worry we have a plan. Queen Hagakuri said and smiled. Yup, you will escort her to the ball. What? Me. Escort the princess, to the ball, I blushed a little thinking about Ochako smiling brightly at me at the ball. 
Yes. Oh, you would be so cute together. But first, you need to apologize and we would need to give you a suit for the ball. Why do the queens sound more excited about this than I am? She's a princess. A knight can't escort her. Queen Hagakuri seemed to slam her hand on the table saying, but she doesn't know that yet. Yeah, but I... Nope, but I, knew uh, but, no excuses, you are taking her to the ball. Ochako, okay fine, what's the plan? Blank, underscore, blank. I know, not that great of a chapter but um, yeah. I will get the next chapter out as soon as possible which might be later than usual because school started. I cry, carrot, as always there will be mistakes and stay safe guys. Tilda the final night fury.